Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. There's no doubt Joe Biden is a mental case. But how many of you pray for Joe Biden? All right, so, so you want to... You wanna, um, you, you want to, I mean, I'm, I'm talking to those of you who say you pray. You, you're faith based, you're, you're Christian, whatever you want to be. How many of you, how many of you pray for Joe Biden? And the Bible tells you to, whether you agree with him or not, right? Um, uh, Romans 13, verse 1 let everyone be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. So even when it's the authorities you don't agree with, there's a reason they're there. There's a reason they're in the place they're in. Sometimes God gives you merciful rulers. Sometimes he gives you dictators. And so, you know, and people say, oh, God would never. Yeah, well, 1 Peter 2.13 says, submit yourselves for the Lord's sake to every human authority, whether to the emperor as the supreme authority, or to governors who are sent by him to punish those who do wrong and to commend those who do right. And so for years, we've, you know, we've, we've believed in the divine providence of God in America. And, you know, I've, I talk about the state of Texas, and you can see God's hand operating. And now government's gotten so big, we kind of thumb our nose at God's providence, and we say, okay, we'll just take it from here. And we've gotten reliant on this big government garbage. Um, and sometimes when you do that, God says, okay, uh, you want a king? Well, I'll give you a king. Uh, you know, remember what the Israelites said? They said, we want to be like the other nations. We want you to give us a king. And God said, I, I'm not going to give you a king. I don't want to give you a king. And so finally, he says, I'll tell you what, I'll give you what you deserve. I, I won't give you grace and mercy. I'll give you what you claim you want. And uh, you'll get what you deserve. So I'm going to give you, and that's when King Saul came along. And so King Saul came along. King Saul was not a great king. He was not a great king. But then a guy came along who was unlikely, who was f very flawed, named David. He had no qualifications. But the scripture says he was a man after God's own heart. Now, this was a dude who was an adulterer. He was a murderer. Uh, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't on the who's who's list of, you know, the people you think is God's guy. But God said he's, got a, he's a man after my own heart. So you you got to be careful because at the end of the day, God is the one who places the authority over you, and you may you may not understand the person that He places. But I want to encourage you with that. You want authority? Learn to operate under authority, even when that authority is not the greatest uh, that we could possibly have. The Bible says, First Peter says again, or Second Peter, he says, God gives grace to the humble, and He resists the proud. Big government is an affront to God's grace. So as long as we're embracing the benefits of big government, like AOC said, we're going to unionize the hell out of this state. You keep doing that, and God, God's going to resist, God's going to resist uh, the proud because big government's an affront to his grace. And, and I'll go one step further. You want to keep mocking God? Galatians 6 says, be not deceived, for God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, he will also reap. That phrase in the Greek language, to mock God, means to thumb your nose at God in his ways. You're just thumbing your nose and saying, we'll do it our way. 